Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline, as the channel would suggest, obviously. Hello. So, today I figured it might actually be kind of fun to just try on all of my lip glosses. Because I love lip glosses. And I want more. But I want to try on the ones that I have. So that I have an excuse to wear them. To start, I have my Basic Beauty Summer Lip Oil. It is, yeah, a lip oil. But it is... One of my favorites, I pretty much just use it as a lip gloss, and as you can see, it's like, it's empty. I need more. I love it so much. So, it is clear. Pretty simple. It's not sticky or anything like that, which I really like, and it's kind of like, it's so creamy, and it smells absolutely phenomenal. Just... Chef's kiss all around. Chef's kiss. Maybe I should rank these. 10 out of 10. I figured I would just start off with all of my like clear ones. So I have the Makeup Revolution Pout Balm. It's a plumping lip gloss and this one is called Glaze. I keep this one in my purse all the time because, you know, it's quick and simple. But obviously it is a plumping lip gloss. So like, Sometimes I don't want my lips to burn, and that's when I bring the basic beauty one. So here's this one. It starts tingling, like, almost immediately, which, you know, it's a plumping lip gloss. You want your lips to look a little... Mm. This one is definitely, like, thicker than the basic beauty one, which is fair, because this is a gloss, and that is, like, oil. This one, though, because of that, I kind of give it a 9 instead of a 10. Plus, this one doesn't smell nice. 8.5 out of 10. Next up, I have my Milani Keep It Full Lip Plumper. And this is in shade Gold Dust or number 10. This one also is like one of my favorites, as you can see. It's like practically empty. And this one has a really nice golden shimmer to it. I think I give this one a 10 as well, honestly, because like I kind of like things that aren't scented because I am kind of sensitive to smell, but this one's 10 because it's so creamy, not sticky at all. I love it. I realize I have a couple other pout bombs from Makeup Revolution, so I'm actually just going to do all of those first, get them out of the way. So the next on the pout bomb list, I have Cookie, and this one is a very nice kind of like... I'd almost call it a nude, but yes, this one I really like. It has like almost like a brown undertone to it, so it's a really nice simple lip gloss if you don't want to like do outlining, if you don't want like those harsh lines around your lips. For those who outline their lips, I really like this one. And again, because it is the same formula as the clear, I would still give it like an 8.5. So all of these will be 8.5s in terms of feel. Next up on my Pout Bomb family list, we have Sauce. Sauce. <laughs> and this is actually the first one of the Pout Bomb family I ever got. And I kind of like the like spooly thing, the like wand, because like it's blue. And it's like, all the others don't really do that. I really like that. This one is a lot more pinky. A lot more pinky. So something like this. I would outline my lips first. Or put it over top of a lip that I already have on. Like, maybe if I was doing a new that I want a bit more of like a rosy tone too. I'll put this over top. I will say actually this one's a lot more sticky than the last two I put on so I might lower this one to like an 8 or 7.5 because I don't really like sticky lip glosses too much and this is so far my stickiest one. So 8. Last up on my Pout Bomb family list, family list, I have Juicy and this one is a bright red. It's like, you can see, I'm smiling. This is my favorite one. I wear it all the time. If you actually check out my Instagram, I recently wore it. And, like, I love it. I love it so much. 
It's so bright and red. Like, look at that. And because it's a lip gloss, it's so moisturizing. And you, it's almost like you don't even have to put on a red lip, honestly. This would be smart to put on over top of like a matte red lipstick or something like that if you really wanted to just kind of pop a bit more. I love it. It's so nice and simple. And I feel like it really pulls a look together without you having to do as much. It's literally just lip gloss. Like, just pop it on and you're good. Nine. Because I love the color. I love the color too much to give it like like them basics. So juicy, you get a nine out of ten. Next up, I have my Natasha Denona gloss, and this is in shade Cherry Wood, or number 17. This one is definitely more of like a nude pink, but it's a bit too light to be a nude, like a true nude for me, so this is definitely something I would have to use a liner with. Or what I like doing is I'll get like a brown lipstick, and then I will put this in the center to just kind of brighten the look. Kind of what you see like my lips are trying to do right here. So, on its own, it's pretty casket ready. Why am I putting more? Like, it's going to make it better. <laughs> mm. But yeah, this one, I can't even hate it. Like, yeah, I look, I look ridiculous. <laughs> But I love it so much. Like, the formula is so nice. It's really moisturizing. Like, it's wild. It almost feels more like an actual just lipstick, which, to be fair, it could possibly be. So don't come for me. I will double check it and put the information in the description, though, in case it is. But it was in my gloss bag. So the gloss right now. But no, this is amazing. And, like, it doesn't feel sticky in the slightest. And like, you have to admit, I don't look 100% bad right now. 9 out of 10. Last on my list, I have the Urban Decay. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I have the Urban Decay Multi-Dimensional Lip Gloss, and this is in shade Vibes. And this one, I actually got it as a gift from someone. I've actually never worn it yet, so this is going to be a journey for the both of us. Let's see. Whoa. Mmm. I hate that smell. Wow. That's... If this was based on smell alone. Like a one. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, my camera's right here, but like to see my screen, I have to look here, so I do apologize. Um, but no. Hmm. You know, it kind of feels like a sort of like pinky version of the Milani one, like the kind of glitter. This would be really cute over top. Okay, what does this smell remind me of? I don't it so much because of the smell alone this is down to like a seven and if i'm just going based off of like formula and vibes of the lip gloss like this gets like a nine maybe even a ten not gonna lie this is moisturizing why do you have to smell so bad oh my god you could have been great could have been great <laughs> So those were all of my lip glosses. I thought I had more, but I seem to wear a lot of lip chap. And my lip chaps are all Burt's Bees, because Burt's Bees formula is impeccable. Why try anything else? <clears throat> but I did just pop back on the Pout Bomb Juicy, because like it looks amazing, and I'm getting like a Parisian vibe. Are you not getting a Parisian vibe? I feel a little bougie. <laughs> Filming on my, my phone camera. It was pants. <laughs> that was everything for now. Maybe I'll do another video where I go through all of my lipsticks. Because I have a lot more lipsticks. I'm interested, actually. I think I might do that next. <laughs>
Oh, if you guys want to see more of me, just look at my Instagram or my TikTok. And I'll have everything in the description down below. And I'll see you guys another time. Bye.